In the last battle of Dark Knight's Metal, the Justice League defeated Barbados and his evil Dark Batman using their Element X infused Armind weapons. This was how they defeated the Dark Bat God and saved Prime Earth from its inevitable descent into darkness. However, as is often the case within the multiverse, there exists a grimly contrasting narrative, one unfolding within the Dark Multiverse, where destiny is cosmically fated towards catastrophe and chaos is the norm. A heads up as this will cover spoilers galore mostly from tales from the Dark Multiverse, Dark Knight's Metal. The Dark Multiverse has twisted incarnations of DC heroes, which are almost unstoppable. Despite the gloom and despair, there is still one hero in the Dark Multiverse. In Earth Metal's unfortunate reality, the heroes failed to avert Barbato's invasion. Element X was corrupted by his dark influence, transforming the heroes into Barbato's dark dragons of the end. Amidst this chaos, Duke Thomas, also known as the Signal, the only sidekick of Batman who wasn't called Robin, became the final knight. Now, there isn't a ton of info about this version of Duke, mainly because they confined his presence to the Tales from the Dark Multiverse series. However, However, his brief appearance was quite the debut. Duke is the last survivor of his doomed realm, and he becomes the unlikeliest of crusaders, a god level monster hunter, done in the mantle of the final knight. As the Justice League fell, few heroes managed to elude death or corruption at the hands of Barbados, with Duke Thomas being among the survivors. Duke used stolen monitor technology, which he done to escape Barbados relentless pursuit and hop across different worlds within his multiverse. While Duke had managed to unlock some of its features, he had yet to fully comprehend its capabilities. Barbados himself acknowledged Duke's inability to comprehend what he could do with it fully. Owing to his infinite blood attributes, Duke can live forever, allowing him to monitor the multiverse indefinitely, which is not the greatest benefit, to be honest in this scenario. Although he had not fully mastered the army's capabilities, Duke succeeded in activating its multiversal transporter, allowing him to traverse Earths within the Dark Multiverse. Following the fall of the Justice League, Duke embarked on a relentless odyssey across the multiverse, endeavoring to thwart Barbato's influence and the impending doom of other Earths. Unaware that the Earths he explored were destined for darkness. During his extensive travels, Duke stumbled upon various tools that aided him in his quest to elude the grasp of Barbito's death wave. Among the tools Duke acquired during his multiversal exploration, particularly on the Nazi influence Earth 10 from the Dark Multiverse, were a set of power dampening goggles. Duke on Prime Earth can control light particles and use them to see different spectrums and visualize recent past events. But in the Dark Multiverse, his powers evolved, letting him see into the past instead of the present. The power dampening goggles allow Duke to see in the present. Without them, he'd be constantly viewing the past or the way Earth should genuinely be. Despite his best efforts, Duke found himself unable to rescue other worlds from Barbato's darkness. The manifestation of Barbato's destructive influence extended across the multiverse, leaving Duke in a never-ending interdimensional odyssey, living from reality to reality. Little did he know, the earth he explored were all destined to meet the same dark fate. His monitor technology kept him alive, at least until he returned to his desolate home reality, now thoroughly ravaged by Barbato's. A confrontation with the corrupted Justice League nearly ended Duke's life, but he was ultimately saved by Dick Grayson, now calling himself Dragon Slayer. Wooden the parallax, a guitar with a razor sharp edge and the last remaining power rigs embedded within its metal. Now that's pretty cool. If Brutal Legend taught me anything, is that guitars are cool. Add power rings to a guitar axe and that's pretty fucking awesome. Accompanying Dick to find the last remaining heroes of this reality, Duke rallied them into one last battle. Rather than seeking to rescue their own head, Duke implored the remaining heroes to unite and combat Barbados, acknowledging they couldn't prevent Barbados' death wave. They formed the last incarnation of the Justice League, fully aware that their endeavors would culminate in sacrifice. The ragtag group of Earth Metal's last heroes included Hulk Girl, World Forge Hawkman, a battle hardened detective chimp wearing armor crafted from Red Tornado, and the Flash, now a skeletal figure held together by the Speed Force. Things were looking grim, but the heroes decided it was time to face the music. In their quest to vanquish Barbados and his dark dragons, the League of Earth Metal needed an unexpected ally, the Joker Dragon, a colossal serpent like creature bearing the visage and twisted grin of the Clown Prince of Crime. It had been held hostage and subjected to torment by Earth Metal's Batman who laughs. So, the League did what any sensible team would do they caused the ruckus, distracting the battle last and freeing the Joker Dragon. Upon gaining freedom, the Joker Dragon exacted a fitting vengeance, barbecue style, by incinerating the battle laughs, making it one less villain who couldn't be caused in trouble again. The heroes chose to confront Barbados and his Dark Dragons for a simple reason. Barbados' death wave was closing in fast, leaving them with little time. So in a classic last ditch effort, they fought to the better end against the Dark Dragons of the end. Throughout the harrowing encounter, each surviving hero willingly sacrifices their life to take down the dragons, including Barbados. Ultimately, Duke ended up as the sole survivor of Earth Metal. Duke reaches Barbados thanks to their selfless acts. Using his teleporter, he successfully got to the core of Barbados and retrieved what is left of Bruce Wayne. Remember how Barbados had turned Batman into the core of his new dragon form? Well, it effectively anchored the Dark God to Earth Metal in corporal form. Release me! 
Duke subsequently impaled Batman with a broken off fang from the corrupted dragon Superman. This action severed Barbito's connection to Earth's metal and resulted in the Dark God's demise. Duke not only extinguished the fearsome cosmic force, but also liberated Bruce from his clutches. It's not every day you get to slay a cosmic dragon with a jagged tooth. In the aftermath, Duke repurposed the remnants of Barbito to construct a unique dark variant of the bat suit. Yet, he didn't stop there. Duke then got his hands on the parallax. Duke's new killer wardrobe enhanced his monitor suit's capabilities. The fusion of multiversal energies inherent within the new suit allowed Duke to transcend his dark earth and explore other earths, becoming a cosmic explorer on steroids. He could now either commence anew or counter the forces of the dark multiverse, a testament to the enduring flame of hope amid the darkness, even at the end of everything else. Duke dubs himself the final knight and ventures off into parts unknown. This man took staying alive to a whole new level. Following his escape from his earth into the multiversal space, Duke encountered Tempest Foginaut and learned of his duty. You can think of Tempus as DC's answer to Marvel's The Watcher, tasked with monitoring the histories of Earths within the Dark Multiverse and averting the spread of their darkness. In stark contrast to the Watcher's vow of non-interference, Tempus possesses no such restraint, retaining the ability to intervene at will. If he had wanted to get in on the action, he could. What? Upon realizing that Tempus watched the mini Earths of the Dark Multiverse fall and did nothing, he punched Fognaut in the face before heading off into the multiverse. In light of his resolve to remain proactive, the final light opted to assume the mantle of a hunter, tracking down the abominations that persist within the Dark Multiverse. Armed with his Barbados armor, the parallax, and the formidable monitor technology, Duke emerges as one of the most powerful Batman to travel the multiverse. The recurring theme within the Dark Multiverse narrative centers on Earth, where the heroes experience tragic outcomes during pivotal events, juxtaposed with the feet of their primate counterparts. They are all about Earth, where everything goes haywire for the heroes. It's a multiverse where the ruling entity plays a cruel joke on them. When Tempest traversed the Dark Multiverse, he found that it also doomed the inhabitants of these doomed Earths themselves. Duke, however, transcended this grim destiny by fortifying his monitor suits with the final knight's armor. He managed to escape into the multiverse and become the first hero from the Dark Multiverse to survive their Earth's predetermined demise. Duke Thomas the Final Knight was the last hero of the Dark Multiverse. So there you have it, the epic and very metal tale of Duke Thomas, the final knight, and his cosmic escapades in the dark multiverse. Who knew that the Batman sidekick could become the ultimate cosmic explorer? It just goes to show that in the multiverse, anything is possible. Thank you for joining me on this fascinating journey through the dark multiverse. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It goes a long way in supporting the channel. Share this video with your friends who enjoy this adventure. And if you want to stay updated on more contents like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.